I'm Andrea. And I'm Simone. And we are the head of a design office called Forma Fantasma based in Milan and Rotterdam. Since last year, we started the collaboration with Rubelli as creative director. And of course, our creative direction is a view on a much more of a holistic view on, on the company. So we are not, we don't want to transform the company in our own company, but we want to give, of course, hint on how to communicate, which kind of product the, the company should launch. And we are not involved in actually designing the textile. We are really working on a close relation with the uh, internal team uh, in designing the, uh, the, the design, actually, the textile. And of course, we will also look into the shops and the, the retails of the company and in general also all the tools for communicating uh, both the product and the, the company. We believe that it's going to become much more long lasting as a collaboration, but also fruitful if it is not about us, uh, which are, we are not you know, trained as textile designers, giving specific direction towards that, but you know, have more of an overview of what a company is doing and maybe for instance clarifying what Rubelli does compared to, to Kifair, how to talk about the, the company, what kind of values to address and so on. But of course there is a design team in terms of the company that is so extremely knowledgeable. And of course we can also count on an heritage of the company. You know, Rubelli has been practicing since centuries. And so we can also, uh, for instance, deep dive on their archives and they can become a constant source of inspiration Kifar is a brand that uh, it's really part of Rubelli history and has been acquired several years ago uh, from, the, from the main brand. And uh, in this year, we wanted to uh, uh, actually relaunch uh, this, uh, this specific brand, giving a very different uh, characteristic and personality compared to the, uh, to the brand of Rubelli. So I think for us, um, what, where Rubelli is somehow extraordinary, we want to uh, focus with uh, in Kifair on details, the weaving of textiles, almost the, the techniques of textile making, and probably making it less iconographic compared to Rubelli. This is a textile that should enter in the house of people and influence um, on a more subtle level the interior space, uh, maybe through tactility and less through the sense of uh, visual. We see textiles in a way and it, as um, almost an interfere an interface, sorry, uh, between uh, the human and um, interior environment and what helps really to, um, I would say, connect the people with the senses in a way. So, you know, of course, in this moment, I'm, I'm touching this surface and that evokes feelings. So it is not only about the visuals and that's something we want to explore more and more, also in experimental ways with Kifair in the future. The most representative uh, material of the collection are mostly coming from the natural world. We are, of course, also using some synthetic, but I would say that the, the most important ones are all uh, natural material. Initially, Kifa was very famous for, for linen, which is something we definitely want to do. And the natural textile is something that we want to explore further and further. But at the end of the day, what is natural? Of course, wool is natural. Of course, linen is natural. But also for us, uh, the idea of um, working with, with uh, something that is um, sourced from, from nature is also thinking if we can, for instance, use um, natural fibers that, for instance, use less water. That's the reason why, for instance, in this year, hemp was introduced, mm. which is one of the most sustainable plants for uh, fibers in textile making. So ecology, I think it will become more and more central uh, throughout the years. Uh, of course, here we already started to introduce those materials that really belong to a different idea about nature or ecology. So, Simone said, textile, paper, hemp, etc. Um, and I think in the future we will work even more uh, with these um, ideas. For us, it is not interesting to propose uh, Kifair as a sustainable brand because we don't believe in that. It is much more about uh, researching into ecology and implementing those findings within processes that can be transferred also to Rubelli. For instance, there is uh, something that, a textile that we really love, which is a velvet made of alpaca wool. The reason why we love it, it's because we selected um, colors. Actually, we didn't select colors. We selected the, the, the wools that we love, that they were sorted according to the colors of the alpaca animal. So there was no dyeing process. So we put in the collection only three colors. So it's not extensive palette of color, but the material was so beautiful, we didn't want to hide it, dyeing it. So also for us, uh, what, you know, this is really representative of Kifair. It is really not about necessarily uh, making choices that are uh, pleasing the majority of clients necessarily, because of course this is a very restrict materials palette, 
but of course he talks deeply about the quality of the material and interconnection with uh, the animal even from where the, the wool was sourced. Um, we also use paper in a paper uh, textile uh, in, a, in a curtain and uh, we have a full range of hemp fabrics that have been dyed with uh, natural dyeing, specifically with um, um, oxides that come from the earth. We thought it was interesting to take a material hemp that is really uh, not using a lot of water in the process of growing and dyeing it in a natural process with natural dyes. Of course, these are first um, steps that we are doing with the brand, but more, I think, should be taken in, in the future. Um, but we believe this is the way to go with Kifair. Actually, the chair I'm sitting on is covered with a textile of uh, this year's collection that is called Ferro. And we were looking forward to do something um, more exuberant because the palette of colors is quite sober in the collection. But we also wanted to uh, show that Kifair can also sometimes be adventurous. This is quite an unusual typology of textiles for, for interior because it almost um, looks as something you would uh, have more closely on, on jumpers or sweaters. Uh, it is extremely tactile and, and uh, it looks, our idea was to make it look like almost the fur of, of, a, of a beast. Uh, but the palette of colors is very unusual, almost a sorbet color, so very pastel, pastel colors, which is colors that we really, we really love. This year collection, uh, we decided to name it uh, Untitled. And the reason why we decided to do that, it's because we also think that there's no reason why naming something specific about this collection. Um, we don't want to sort of overbrand something that already should speak for itself. In a way, we wanted to, the textile to speak.